How to control the order of slides in a slideshow on Windows 10. I'm going to demonstrate how to control the order of slides in a slideshow, both a looping slideshow and a shuffle or random slideshow in Windows 10. So we'll start with this demo folder and the way that you launch a slideshow is you click on the Manage tab and then there's a slideshow. So let's start this slideshow. And this slideshow is looping, which means it goes in an ordered fashion through the slides, or rather the files in the folder, displaying them. And the order it's using right now is alphabetical by the first character, essentially, or first number of the file name. So what we see here is, for example, this is Thomas Jefferson, and then we're going to get Abraham Lincoln. He's A. Next guy is Andrew Jackson, also an A, but further along in the alphabet than Abraham Lincoln. Donald Trump, D. George Washington, G, comes after D. John Adams, J. Theodore Roosevelt, and comes before Thomas Jefferson. And we're back to Abraham Lincoln again. Now, in fact, you can change the ordering. So I'm ordering it by the date on the file, which doesn't have much to do with anything. But Theodore Roosevelt comes first. Here we go again. Theodore Roosevelt, Thomas Jefferson, etc. We could also order the files by size. Okay, so now, surprise, surprise, Donald Trump has the biggest picture image from the White House, and then Thomas Jefferson's number two. So here we go. Donald comes first, Thomas Jefferson, and it's working its way down the size of the image files. Now, Something I found is sometimes, for reasons that are not clear to me, this doesn't always work and it only, you know, you'll, you'll select date or you'll select size and it'll keep doing the alphabetical uh, ordering. Uh, that It seems to be erratic. I can't figure out why that happens sometimes. It usually doesn't, but I've seen it and reproduced it a couple of times, so I know that it happens. So your best way of controlling what goes first is, in fact, by uh, f changing or putting indexes, I'll show how to do that, on the file names themselves. I also want to show the shuffle, so we have the option of randomizing, which is shuffle. So now they're being shown randomly ordered. And in fact, so let's click back to name, and Abraham Lincoln is the first one. And I will see something about the shuffle. We get Abraham Lincoln, the very first according to the alphabetical ordering, followed by Donald Trump. So we didn't get Andrew Jackson, as you might expect. It randomly jumped back to Abraham Lincoln, and it, um, you know, so it's jumping out of order because it's in the shuffle mode. Again, this is shuffle. That means it randomizes, except it doesn't randomize the first slide. The first slide is always the first slide in the folder according to the view or alphabetically. So I have it ordered alphabetically right now. Uh, suppose for some strange reason I wanted to see Donald Trump first. I could rename him and it in fact starts by looking for numbers. So numbers come before the alphabetical characters. So now, here we go, and there it is. We get Donald Trump first, then we get, it's randomized now, it's doing the shuffle. So we, this is primarily a value if you're displaying a random slideshow, but you particularly don't want a particular slide. Say you don't want Donald Trump coming up first every time, or you do want Donald Trump coming up first time. So again, maybe I don't want to see Donald Trump all the time, or every time I start up, I don't want him to be the first president that I see, so um, I can change it to back. Now he's D. In fact, let's say I wanted to see George Washington, the founder of the United States, as my first president that I see. So, okay, this is a little bit of a long name here, but we make him a zero. George Washington is starting with zero. And we go back to the shuffle slideshow. And George Washington comes in first. And then Abraham Lincoln back, it's essentially flipping a coin or throwing a dice and picking them after the first one. Um, and just to illustrate, let me, let me actually go back to the looping process on here. So, I'm uh, sorry, I should, should have turned on the loop 
and I turn off the shuffle. And now I'm going to exit and restart. And so let's see what happens now. So now we should go in alphabetical order, starting with the zero slide, George Washington. And then it's going to go Abraham Lincoln, Andrew Jackson should be next. Donald Trump is D, D comes after A, and then John Adams, and so on. Now obviously this is probably not the order you might want to see the presidents in. So you can control through the alphabetical ordering exactly which slides you see when you're in the looped mode, not in the shuffle mode. Let me turn that off and we'll demonstrate the ordered slides. So make sure they're ordered according to the um, alphabet. And so our, we, what I've done here is I've numbered the slides by the sequence number of the president. So George Washington is our first president, Adams is number two, at Jefferson three, Andrew Jackson is seven, Abraham Lincoln was 16, Theodore Roosevelt 26, and Donald Trump is 45. So again, we go to the Manage tab and we click Slideshow and we get the presidents in order. So George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, Andrew Jackson, Abraham Lincoln, Theodore Roosevelt, Donald Trump, and it will I'll cycle back to the first in the order, George Washington. And actually now I'm going to turn it into the shuffle mode, just to remind you what happens with the shuffle mode. We're out of there, and I'm going to restart, and it should be in the shuffle mode. So again, we'll start with George Washington, who's alphabetically first. We're in the shuffle mode, so we're no longer going to see the presidents in the, the correct chronological order. We're going to get them sort of randomly after the first slide. So when one is in the loop slideshow, so this is not the loop, this is the shuffle, but when you're in the loop slideshow, you can exactly control them. They will show in the order in the File Explorer, so if you select alphabetical, the best option is to control them through the alphabet, through numbering the slides, because sometimes, for reasons I can't figure out, the File Explorer will goof up and it will actually use the alphabetical ordering, even though you clicked on, them, say, the size, for example, of the, the size in bytes of this file, it still will go to the alphabetical. So the best way to control it and be sure that things are going to happen as you would like is to use the alphabetical control. In the shuffle mode, you can't control the sequence, obviously, the way you could in the loop mode, but you can select which is the first slide. And this is obviously a bug in the shuffle mode. It would be nice if every time you started the slideshow in the shuffle mode, the first slide was just a random slide. But that's not how it works. So sometimes that first slide that keeps coming up when you go into the shuffle mode gets on your nerves, you get tired of it, maybe there's something about it that you don't particularly like as the first slide. So in that case, you can actually make the slide you want to see by renaming it, by putting a prefix on it to force it to be the first slide, which is what I've done um, here, for example. So we're back here, we get George Washington, we're in the shuffle, so we'll always see George Washington as the first person, and then we're going to get other people in random order. And in fact, because it's in random order, sometimes we jump back to, say, George Washington on the first slide uh, before we've gone through all the presidents. And just one more time, we'll redo the shuffle slide mode. Just to show again, the first alphabetical slide, George Washington, is coming up first, and then we go into random order. We get any and all of the slides selected randomly by the slideshow. So in a nutshell, that's how to control the order of slides, both in the loop mode and in the shuffle mode. And the main value in the shuffle mode is to control the first slide, which is always the same in the uh, slideshows, unfortunately, in the randomize the shuffle slideshows. Sometimes that's a problem to keep having the same slide or a particular slide coming up first in a shuffle mode. And as we show here, you can actually, by putting prefixes on the file names, you can order them whatever way you want in the loop mode. So if you want here to see the presidents in chronological order, I can easily do that. So that concludes this explanation of how to control the order of slides in slideshows in Windows 10.